So what you see there is a law that will make it illegal to take a photograph of police, army, or intelligence services. Can, can you stop filming? I take, can you give me the reason why you're filming? No, no. What, what, you you're filming. No, no. I'm asking. I'm being assaulted. No, no, I'm not assaulting you. I'm not assaulting you. I'm not assaulting me. Just tell me. No, I'm not hitting your camera. So, can you tell me why you're filming? Can you tell me why you're filming here? In Upper Street. Give me a good reason. So the lady in the brown dress, blonde hair, with the male in the black silk, could you please pick that cup up and put it in the bin? Now, a new law has another section that you've seen there was at the beginning of the movie was they can extradite me from my country for putting these pictures that you're looking at right now on YouTube because that's the police. So those new laws came into effect today. What you're going to see now is a few examples of how crazy the police have gotten with cameras. You, you're, actually, you're actually intimidating me by doing that because I can actually You can't be intimidated. Yes, I am. Case law. You're intimidating me by case doing law. that. I can't if intimidate you. If we go to court and they say it's case law at that point, but at this point in time, you're intimidating me. So can you stop doing that for me? No, I can't. I don't like it when people film me. That's not intimidating me. That's not intimidating you. Slightly, no, I'm gathering evidence. Can I'm gathering evidence for my defence. Me. I don't like it being filmed at this time. Okay. You're intimidating me by doing well, that. Well, Officer 1726 is saying that he's being intimidated when I'm actually gathering evidence in my defence. Having cameras Okay, and Officer... The police in the UK have become a higher class. The fact is, they are allowed to do and have done things that would be illegal for a civilian. They are also allowed to protest without duress, unlike most civilians. So the police are able to hold mass demonstrations and no big deal. But if you hold a demonstration... What did that woman do? How is she a threat to the state? How is she a threat to the state? How is she a threat to anyone? What we've been finding is CCTV is a good uh, deterrent um, for antisocial behaviour. In the UK, we have a nasty habit of banning things we don't like. Things such as rudeness, littering and even swearing. But, in order to get to those people who do these things, we need to criminalise their behaviour. So we call it antisocial behaviour. Where are you? Sorry, I'm filming a public place. Excuse me, put the camera down. Is that an official directive? Pardon? Is that an official directive? Yes, it is. Okay, you're CW154. Could you tell me who you are, sir? 1545. Could you tell me who you are, sir? I'm you to the High Court judge for refusing to let me film. Now, see, this is what goes on. Police see you filming something you're doing, they run over and they want you to stop filming right away. They confront you because you've done the same thing that they're doing. They got millions of cameras looking at you and you're not allowed to look back at them. Britain is not only the most intensely monitored country in the world with, at last count, 4.2 million CCTV cameras, or one for every 14 people, it is, according to the nation's privacy watchdog, fast becoming a surveillance society. But such concerns have done little to curb the creep of advanced surveillance technologies. Quite the opposite, in fact. In recent weeks, the nation's first spy drone took to the skies above Merseyside in northwest Britain. Local police say it represents a cost-effective way to catch criminals. The town of Middlesbrough has started using talking CCTV cameras. So the female with the white shirt and blue jeans on, you've dropped your cigarette on the floor, can you pick it up please? To the female, thank you very much. I have the right to film. Give me your ID phone. I don't even need to be a professional. I have the right to film it. No filming. Good. The reason why you're filming on the wrong. Okay. I have a right to film here. Okay. You need to know the law better. Mm. Good for you. Show me your ID. You're not obliged to stop filming in a public street unless you're committing some other offence. Taking pictures using using film video is not in itself an offence. Under what law are you asking me for my ID because I'm filming? Suspicious behaviour. So why am I suspicious? Under what law? Yeah. Or filming around. Do you give me a good reason why you're filming around? You give me a good reason that I can't. Yeah. You ah. tell me what law in a public, I can, yeah, in a public place. Yeah. I'm allowed to film where I want. 
Yeah, you can allow, but you know, it's, you're not a tourist, and that is the reason why you're filming around. I'm allowed to film where I want. This is a free country. Finish filming? Um, I don't have to stop finish filming because that's entirely up to me, I'm afraid. What I was trying to do was raise awareness of, of our right to take pictures in a public place. That's the foundation of what I was doing. Well, how soon before this law is used to threaten the activists, uh, people that are watching the politicians and trying to report on them? Today, newspapers right across that country are on the streets in front of the police stations taking pictures with cameras to protest us. You know, and of course the police are taking pictures of them. And the police, four point, you know, four million plus cameras. Just try to wrap your mind around that. That's one camera for every 14 people down there. The reason this is important, because this is the testing ground. Britain is the testing ground for what they're going to do to the rest of the countries. Canada, our parliament is under the Queen's order. Our politicians, our police officers, our government officials all swear allegiance to the Queen first. Okay? The Queen's face is on our money. The Queen's face is in every school room, classroom. It's in every college room. It's all over the place. It's in every government building. And that's why it's important. I'm a Canadian, but it's important worldwide because Britain is the breeding ground. It's the breeding ground for tolerancy uh, that's coming at us head on. You can't keep up with the laws. Canada, BC here just announced they're going to privatize the water and give it to companies for nothing and then they can sell that to whoever they want. The water, the lakes, the rivers, the streams. BC we're on to right now is, is just putting facial recognition on Georgia's license. I mean, they're coming down with these laws that fast you cannot keep up with them and they're passing them before you even know they exist. Okay, right away, you know, look at this next video clip. Here's a police officer coming right up to a guard because he got a camera in the public. Everybody owns a camera. And now it's going to become illegal. Well, it is illegal today to take pictures of police that are abusing or anything. They can just come up, take your camera, and arrest you. And now you got that label. You got that label. Arrest your life. Terrorist. <laughs> I've been done that! Hey, 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 hey! Record that! 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 I just wonder why um, a policeman has just warned the, the chap taking the pill not to film this incident. Are these orders from Sheriff Glover that we're not to report any crime on Broadstone anymore because it doesn't exist? I've come down to the intersection of Putney where I live just to see how many cameras I can spot just in the radius and there's been several. Found this camera, which is up on the side there in the corner, checking drivers that are headed to the left. And then also there's a camera, which is a bit hard to see, just beyond the traffic light there to the left. Across the road here we have a traffic camera that is difficult to see to the left. And on the railway, which is the beloved pub in Putney, there's also a camera stationed here. Millions of cameras, over 4 million cameras, another couple million going up, high definition cameras that can see for over 100 miles. The new chips that can see almost 98% of the nighttime, just like daytime. That girl just showed you cameras in each corner. Now you can imagine where the 4 million cameras are in that city, on every corner. That's, that's a police state, okay? The next video shows you cops spotting the guy in his garden with a camera and he ran over and he wanted to take his camera and he wanted his number, he wanted his address. It, you know, like, it's just draconian. It's absolutely barbaric. But you're not even allowed to have everybody got a camera. How can you not use your camera? <laughs> Put the camera down for us. What? Put the camera down for us. What? What? Woo! 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 I'm in my own garden here, mate. Okay. Well, yeah, you come bursting down. Filming the police. Offence. It's not an offence at all. Yes, sir. It no, it's not an offence at all. 
Yeah, I'm a film maker, mate. I know the laws. I've been doing this for years, mate. I film the police all the time. It's not an offence. Okay. We're telling you. What, 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 what section is it an offence under? Okay. It's an offence. What, what section is it an offence under? I'll find out for you. Can you switch the camera off? No, I can't switch my camera off. You. you do not have a right to come up and start no, you pushing my camera. I'm not pushing no, you. You did. Shut up. And the camera's on. What? Shut up. Now, anyone in a public place in British law, uh, has the possibility of being photographed like we are with the CCTV camera right now. And that's the thing, isn't it? There are cameras watching us everywhere in the UK. If they're watching us, can't we watch back? Why should we, the citizens, not be allowed to film when we're being filmed all the time?